I definitely got to get some more Dollar Tree glasses. Start pushing it in on one side of my nose, and <laughs> that's just not good. I thought I had killed a cat this morning or this afternoon. I had put uh, bleach on my floor so I could try to get up some places that uh, have dirt ground into the fake wood floor. And CD is always around my feet and was in front of me and I thought, sure, I got a drop on her head. So I tried chasing her around to corner her, and she's just too wily for me. So she went behind the, I have a, a Sherry's uh, old mattress facing out toward the street. and protected my window because I need to rip that window out. I want a solid window there. And I want to put my solar, uh, one of my solar panels there so that I can use the solar power on my electrics in the kitchen because I only have, I have one plug-in that works out of four plug-ins, five plug-ins. I'm going to try that one in the, there's one that's built into a cabinet. I don't know if that works. Because I'm going to have a smoothie. And so. I should try that tonight. I don't know. Anyway. I need to. I want to go by. Um, I don't know if you know this. But junior colleges. That have carpentry. Um, and electricians. They will. Uh, do work for you. At, they'll even repair your car. And they don't charge by the hour. They charge by the parts. I need to have my electric uh, inspected. Because, like, my ceiling light has only worked twice in nearly four years. Well, it's going on four years. Second time I had it on, it flickered. And my Pete, Pete down the street, he says, turn that thing back. Turn the thing off. And one day I have my son come over and look at it. He's an electrician. I've never had that. He's never come over and looked at that. But. I when uh, Cowboy Jen was here. She was looking for Lewis. Who was hiding. And she stuck her hand around the corner. And turned on the light. She goes. Doesn't anything work? <laughs> I have one light. In the bathroom. That works. So I turned on the light. The fellow who sells mobile homes here. Doesn't have anything expected before you sell it. And I learned just recently. There's a law. That if you're selling your house. You have to have it inspected. So. The buyer knows there's something wrong with your house. Or that it's been fixed. That old slowing slogan, buyer beware. Buyer shouldn't have to beware. I asked somebody, I said, so when you, you can't stop them from buying a mobile home with black mold. Or people living in black mold, motels, um, not motels, but mobile homes. And I was told, no. You have to let them buy it, and then they have to complain to the attorney general. How lame ass is that? In the Christian Bible, it says something to do about taking care of your brothers. How are you taking care of your brothers if you're allowing them to buy something you wouldn't want to live in? Down the street, there's a young fellow. He's had a really rough life. And at one point he was knifed in the neck. And so he has this tattoo on his neck. I asked him one day, I said, 
didn't that hurt like hell when I had that done? And he grabs his neck, and he twists it. He goes, I don't feel this at all. When they slice my neck, they cut all sorts of, of nerve endings. I can't feel a thing there. And he's living in a house with no tree. At least I have my big, beautiful tree out there. So when it gets hot, our mobile homes, our metal homes, when it's hot outside, let me tell you, you might think that you're in Dubai in the summer because the heat radiates off the walls and heats everything up inside. We're like living in eggshells. I heard someone scratching something. I didn't know if I was going to have to screech. It's amazing how fast People will pay attention to you when you scream at the top of your lungs. <laughs> I'm talking about furry cat people. So, I really want to have my electric chest checked. I want to put tile down on my floor. And in the kitchen, I want to put uh, wood. Because the fake wood in the kitchen is just that fake and I want real marble on my countertop, not a thin layered look brick. <laughs> Baby's here. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I see your brothers over napping. They're peanuts, baby. Peanuts. They come in a green bag at Walmart. They're on the bottom shelf, a dollar ninety nine for uh, twenty ounces. They're really good. They're really dry and they're very sweet. They're much better than the chicken at Walmart because I find that the rotisserie chicken, when you get to the bones, they're still bloody. That's not done. I cooked and I was in food service, and that's not done. My dad always said to mom, whatever meat she made, he would say, it's tender as a mother's love, except for that one Christmas. Mom did a ham and a turkey. The ham got done. The turkey was not. So the turkey went back in the refrigerator, and we ate that toward the end of the week. <laughs> I got a thing from the church yesterday. Well, I don't know exactly when I got it. I have to mail it when I have money for a stamp. But um, they wanted to know if I would 